Welcome back. Last one for this week, area of a circle. So, as we talk about area of a circle, it's all that's filled in on the inside. Anytime we talk about area, remember it's still gonna have units squared, inches squared, feet squared, yard squared, whatever, because it's still square units filled in on the inside of the circle. You can imagine graph paper being inside it, there's still gonna be square units. Just gonna have some parts around the edges. When we're talking about this, we've got pi. Remember, we're going to use the approximation of 3.14 for pi. Other thing that's very important to remember when we do this formula is we have radius squared. Remember that squared means times itself. It does not mean times two. Very important. I don't want you getting all the problems wrong. Radius means times itself. So if we start with this one example. If I have a radius of six meters, we take our formula, area equals pi r squared, and we plug in what we know. So area equals pi, 3.14, times a radius of six squared. For of operations, we know we have to do our exponents before we multiply, that is always going to be your first step. So we think, okay, what is six squared? Means six times six, not six times two. So now that 3.4, but four times six times six is 36. Not six times two is 12. Make sure you say times itself. Then I'm gonna work that out. Got some paper on the next page to do all of your work. And we would do that and it would be 113.04 meters squared. Be very careful because sometimes you're going to get circles and it's going to have a diameter. If this has a diameter of 16 feet, that your formula says pi r squared, not pi d, because this is not times 2, it is times itself. So I have to go, okay, that's 3.14, but my radius is only half of this, not the whole thing. So I have to go, okay, if my whole thing is 16, I want half of that, my radius is going to be eight squared. So I'm on formula with our squared here. So area is gonna equal 3.14 times eight squared, eight times itself. Eight times eight is 64, not eight times two is 16. So make sure you're squaring, not multiplying by two. Very, very important. And I have some scratch paper to do all of your work. If we do work out our 3.14 times 64, then you would have 200.96 feet squared. Simple as that. So only things, two things that we need to remember, make sure that you're using a radius every single time. If it's already a radius, you're ready to go to plug in your numbers. If it's a diameter, be sure you're cutting that in half before you're plugging it into your formula. Second thing to remember every single time that we're squaring before we multiply, and squared means times itself and not times two. So if you're given a diameter, cut it in half, plug it in, then square it. Easy as cake. See you next time.